hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to prepare this achiched i hope you enjoyed this video and if you find it helpful please endeavor to share it out leave your comments below and give me thumbs up so stay tuned and watch the rest of the video For my ingredients, I have here with me the main chairman of the occasion, achecha, which is made from cocoa yam, the dried one, it's already dried, so I'll just be soaking it for 20 minutes, it's already 20 minutes, so I soaked it for 20 minutes, and I'll be showing you the next step soon. And here is my fear of fear. Fear of fear is also known as pigeon peas in English. I soaked this overnight so that it will quicken the cooking process, thereby saving your energy for you. If you are using gas to cook, if you are using electricity to cook, it will save your energy for you. This is the one that is not soaked and this is the one that is soaked. You can see the difference between the two. And for the achecha, which is the cocoyam, here is the one that is not soaked. You can see how dry is looking before I soaked it. So make sure you soak it before using it. Otherwise, it's so strong you cannot even dare eat it like this. And for the rest of the ingredients, I have palm oil with me here. Very important. I have my salt. I'll be adding some salt from this. And over here is my onion. If you have the pink or the red onion, feel free to use it. I have habanero pepper. Add as much pepper as you want. And I have my seasoning cube. I also have my vegetable here. I'll be using kale leaf. I brought this out from my freezer overnight and I kept it in the fridge overnight. You can use spinach or any other green vegetable. And I also have my obaka oil bean i also be using it so let's get right into the cooking the first thing i'll be doing is to wash in the fear of fear that's the pigeon peas inside my pot though it's already clean i just be transferring it into the pressure pot i love cooking any bean family with my pressure pot to enable the cooking process to be quick I will add some water just some inches above the content because I want to cook this dry I don't need the water after cooking it so I don't need to add too much water and I will cover and cook this for 25 minutes then I just rinse off my cocoa yam off camera so right now i will be crushing it with my palms like so just use your fingers to break it into pieces like bread crumb size so that's just what i will be doing if you look at me very well you just see what i'm doing so i will just continue doing this till i finish crushing all the cocoa yam thank you so much for watching up to this extent if you are new to my channel you are much welcome consider subscribing and please share out this video if you find it helpful and also leave your comments below for my old subscribers you guys are the real g may god bless each and every one of us in jesus name amen so once i'm done crushing it i will put it in my sieve so that the water in it will just drip off because this recipe doesn't require excess water in it so I will just leave it here for a while at least five minutes for the water to drip and after that I will start tying it in a nylon so I will just use one nylon to tie to tie it according to the quantity of the cocoa yam you are making so my fear fear or my pigeon peas is ready and my cocoa yam my achecha ede is also ready i cooked this for 20 minutes the cocoa yam i mean i cooked it for 20 minutes so now 
we will move on to the next step i will add my oil inside my pot and this requires a lot of oil i will allow it to heat up once it has heated up i will throw in my onion and my habanero pepper if you have pink onion make use of the pink onion because it will give the dish a nice look and pink onion also give your dish correct aroma but i don't have pink onion now that's why i'm making use of the white one so i will follow it up with my obaka my oil bean and i will throw in my no cube i will add in some salt and i will stir for five minutes after that, I will add in my vegetable, my kale leaf, stir for some minutes, just two minutes so that you not overcook the vegetable. Then add in your fior fior, follow it up with your edde. That's the achechede. And stir very well. I just reduce the heat of my cooking stove so that it doesn't burn. As you are stirring is cooking slowly that's why you have to reduce the heat of your cooking stove by now so that it doesn't start to burn while it is not yet heated up please have you thumbs up the video for me if you're forgetting to thumb up the video please kindly thumb up the video and after stirring, I will test for salt. If the salt is not enough to your test board, feel free to add more salt or you can also add more seasoning cube if that's what you want to add. So I will just stir to make sure that I combine the salt very well. And after that, the food is as good as ready. You see, it is very, very easy to prepare. And I will just dish it out. And after that, we enjoy the meal. Happy Easter to you guys. Hope you give this recipe a try. A try will convince you this came out so perfectly well. My husband has not eaten this for over how many years? Almost 20 years plus, And he enjoyed the meal. So guys, here is the end result of the Acheche Day hope you enjoy watching thank you so much bye and see you in my next one